What red light therapy panel has the lowest EMF rating? Well, I used my Elytro smog meter here, went around, tested all 17 of these panels that I have hanging up behind me, plus dozens of other panels that I've been fortunate enough to test and use over the years. And yeah, I'm gonna share with you the panels that have the lowest EMF ratings. Now, what I did is I've looked at the magnetic field and also the electric field from these panels. There is a third type of EMF, well, there's all sorts of EMF fields out there. I mean, light itself, part of the EMF field. But some people also want to know about the microwave fields. This is your Wi-Fi, your wireless, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go through the panels and give the key takeaways. And if there is something that was quite bad, like a standout feature, though it was a bad feature, uh, I'll report on that. So out of the 17 panels behind me, when it comes to magnetic and electric fields, 12 of them were really good. And by really good, I mean at six inches, we had a safe reading from my meter according to the building biology standards, meaning the amount of EMF that was picked up by this meter at six inches was considered safe by a rather strict standard protocol. So that's really good, 12 out of 17. That's really all you need to know, right? I'll put a list of this 12 up on screen. You could just stop the video now and go out and buy one of these. Speaking of buying one, if you do want to buy one of these red light therapy panels, uh, I have discount codes and discount links down below. I am affiliated with a lot of these companies. So it's a win-win, you save, but I get a bit of a commission. So what were the five panels that didn't make the cut? First up was the light path LED. It had a little bit of magnetic field, not too bad though. Then we had the Huga Ultra 1500, also a little bit of magnetic field. The Mito Light Biohacker, again, it was it was just over the threshold. Both, all three of these panels weren't too bad. And personally, I'd still be happy using them. Then we have the Infrared Pro Max. This panel was a little bit higher, I think, because of the way this panel is designed. The fans have to work extra hard. And the interesting thing is it's the fans that are actually putting out a lot of the magnetic fields here. If the panel has been well designed, shielded cables, or the drivers are all installed properly, the magnetic field should be quite low. But because the Infrared Pro Max doesn't have any vents, I think this is why it was a little bit higher. Also, that panel was very, very loud. So just a little FYI. And then the last panel was the Juve Solo. Now, this was actually really good from a magnetic point of view, but it has a really high electric field reading. And the reason for this is because it doesn't use a grounded power plug. Personally, I think it's silly. I mean, this panel has been around for years now. I talked about this in an old review. I thought it would be updated because it is a really easy fix, but it hasn't been fixed. I know some people have reached out to Juve about this and Juve have sent through a lengthy response saying, look, we recommend you use our panel at 12 inches. At 12 inches, the reading's fine. Also, it meets a bunch of electrical standards. All that stuff is great. I totally get it, cool. And yeah, I even get the argument that you should stand further away. Yeah, that's cool. But still, what happens if you do use it closer? And it doesn't give them a good out because this is an easy fix. So I wouldn't recommend the Juve solo panels if you're worried about EMF or sound. In fact, I don't really recommend the Juve panel anyway. You can check out my full review to find out why. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, can you just go down just a little bit, hit the like button, thumbs up there, and also hit subscribe. I really, really, really do appreciate it. It helps me keep testing panels like this and doing videos like this. So yeah, thanks. Also, I need to mention this. Head over to lighttherapyinsiders.com and check out the shopping tool. In that shopping tool, you'll see all of the panels I've tested over the years. I think there's like 70 on. And what you can do is you can tick the EMF box and it will bring up a new column with a traffic light system showing the EMF rating. It's just looking at magnetic and electric fields. If you see an orange or a red, it means that that panel had not great EMF scores. Or to make it even easier, just select the low EMF filter box up top. And what that will do is remove any panels from the database that do have higher than great EMF. From there, you can sort, filter, search all the panels to find the best panel for your needs. Links to the shopping tool are down below. Now, let's look at these 12 panels again. Now, in all honesty, all of these are gonna be fine. Unless you are very, very sensitive to EMF, you're gonna be fine with all these. Now, I thought what I could do is I could go around and test at say three inches or two inches and get even more accurate readings. But there's problems with that. Firstly, it's hard to get a good reading across the panel because different areas, you know, where the power point goes in, it may be slightly higher. The other thing is these panels aren't designed to be used that close, you're meant to be a bit further away. And because the numbers are so low anyway, I thought it doesn't really matter. But there are a few things I will mention here. You see a lot of these panels have a wireless connectivity feature. That means you can get multiple panels, connect them all up without using cables, and 
control them from one device. Guimax is an example, Block Blue Light, Rototherapy, a lot of them have this feature. So that means, of course, there is going to be a little bit of a microwave field here when they're transmitting, talking to each other. So if you are worried about that, you know, you live in the middle of nowhere with no cell phones and no Bluetooth mice or anything like that, and you want to totally erase it, then yeah, don't purchase a panel that has wireless connectivity. I mentioned a few examples before. Another thing to look for is a panel that has an application because if it has an app, it's also using Bluetooth to talk. The phone and the, the uh, panel are talking through Bluetooth. So from those 12 panels, it means the Platinum LED Biomax and the Royo Therapy Refine, both of those panels use an application and they're also using the wireless connectivity. So if you are worried about that, you may not want to use those panels. I believe you can get around them and use them in solo mode and you can disable that stuff. But if you want to get multiple panels, yeah, it's if we're trying to find the best of the best, you probably don't want more of the, you don't want a smart panel, which I guess these panels are. Now, Block Blue Light also have a wireless connectivity feature, but they don't have an app. And the Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500X that also has an app, but what's really cool with that panel is you can go through and disable the Bluetooth. So you can totally turn it off. That's good to know. Pretty much though, if you want a panel that is low in EMF across all fields, magnetic, electric, and microwave, you want to get a more simple device and something that was on that top 12 list. So some good examples here are the Cyto LED panel, the Gimba Red panel, or yeah, even the Mito Red Light panel. Even though it's got the app, you can turn it off. But if you're super, super, super sensitive to EMF and you want to use the panel at zero inches or one inch or two inches, like you want no EMF at all, then what I recommend doing is checking out the Platinum LED Sorta Max panel. You see, this panel is fanless. It's actually IP65 rated, so you can use it in a sauna and a high heat environment, even expose it to a little bit of water. What this means is there's, yeah, there's no EMF. I've tested it. It's like rock bottom. That panel you could use right up against the body and you're not going to be exposed to any harmful stresses. The power from that panel is actually a lot lower as well. So you could put it on the body and, and not cause potential overdosing issues. Uh, and there's no apps or no smart modes or anything like that. It does still have a built-in timer, but it's quite basic. You are getting a good amount of wavelengths as well though. So if you're looking for a rock bottom EMF panel, then yep, check out the Sonomax Pro. My review for it is up here. Go have a look at it. It's actually a good panel, a little bit more expensive than some of these other ones, but from an EMF point of view, it's rock bottom.